Um, and let's start off with number one. So number one, Brian, government, PSAs, uh, public education, and marketing restrictions. Um, where do you see this shaking up? I know Canadian government's allocated, I think, maybe 200 or $250 million, something like that. Don't remember the exact number. Um, for awareness and advertising. And I think the perspective from government is they want to be that kind of source of information and exposure to the public so that to a degree they can control it. And uh, what I find very interesting is the approach that this liberal government has taken is yes, they are shifting from the medicinal space to now this public, this legalized retail space. But the language that they use and the approach they use I find is always still very, you know what, we're, we're doing this, but we're not endorsing this behavior. Mm -hmm. And so will that tone filter into education and awareness? And what level, where, who's going to be the source of information for the senior who's heard about CBD and is thinking about dosing and has absolutely no idea? How do you see that unfolding? Well, you know, there's a variety of ways in which it's going to unfold. One of which is we know that the federal funding is already flowing to a number of different organizations, you know, like Mad Canada and, and other relevant stakeholders so that they can undertake some of this education. We also know that from a, an LP perspective, that's one of the, the areas that they're actually engaging in in terms of trying to educate the consumer just because they recognize they're going to be dealing with a lot of people who are kind of interested, you know, they're, they're interested in the novelty, maybe want to try this out or haven't experienced it in many, many years and don't know what exactly to do. So a lot of them are going to go to the auroras, the canopies, mm -hmm. uh, the biomes and so forth and try to understand what exactly is there and that's where the education is going to come in. However, uh, as you said, there, there is this narrative uh, that is, has a bit of an underlying um, you know, not condoning, but we're sanctioning uh, kind of tone to it. And so uh, that, that is going to play out, but you're going to see different messaging coming from different sources. Obviously, the LPs are not going to take that same tone. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so that's going to be interesting, as well as, as, as you've pointed out, you know, this, uh, the marketing component. Yeah. You know, it's, it's very confusing. What can and can't be and who can carry it? This is totally true. But I think in the next couple of weeks, we should be having a greater understanding and more clarity from the government mm -hmm. hopefully. on that. So hopefully, hopefully. Uh, it'll go into the defined column.